This is Arlen with today's WordPress tip. I've been so busy I've been neglecting my uh, video podcast here so I thought I'd post a video tutorial. Actually today I just want to look at a plugin and uh, it's the Gravity Forms plugin. You probably heard so much about Gravity Forms but for my premium clients I use Gravity Forms to build their contact forms and other information and it works really really well really easily so let me take you to it so to start I'm gonna just come here to plugins and activate the gravity forms plugin it's down here gravity forms I'm doing this uh, podcast on a WordPress multi-site install so the options are going to look just a little bit different, but you activate a plugin like you would any other plugin. So I'll just click activate to turn it on. <clears throat> okay, and now you can see it's activated and it says I need to register. Uh, I'll do that later. I do have a license for this. Uh, and I can click here on settings. And this is where I'll put in the license key and some other reCAPTCHA if I want to use that. Okay, but you can see here I have a new menu item called Forms. So this is where I can edit, create new forms, and do all these things. Import and export is awesome. I mean, when you work on a form and you have it just right, you want to export that thing just so you can have a backup. This is a really great feature. Well, let me show you how to create a new form. I'm just going to come here to New Form. And I start off with an untitled form, and I just have to click here, and I can begin editing this. So I'm going to call this a contact form. Here's a little description, top of line, that's fine, advanced. You can change the form button. If you have an image, you can select that and uh, type in the location of the image. I don't, so I'm just going to use the default text, which is submit. That's all fine. I'm going to enable an anti-spam honeypot. What's this? It's a protection technique, which is an alternative to the reCAPTCHA field. I'm not a big fan of reCAPTCHA, but some of my sites do get, um, or people will attempt to spam my sites because they get very popular. So I'm going to use this as an anti-spam measure. Okay, and then confirmation. This is kind of cool. You can send a little confirmation message that will be displayed after the form is submitted. I really appreciate this because it lets your users know that their form was submitted successfully. So I have it set to text and this is this is kind of nice because it will just uh, pop up a little text after they submit. You can change this to page, redirect the form to a page, re redirect them to another website but I think this is really good for me. Now I'm gonna come here and uh, if I had form fields I could embed different types of form form fields. So let's let's go ahead and close this and let's build the form a little bit. Okay, remember I told you this is so easy. You have all these different fields you can add. I'm gonna uh, open the advanced fields box and I'd like to insert an, uh, name boxes, so I'll just click once on that. And the, there it comes in, the name box. Uh, I want a phone number. I want an email. And let's come up here to the standard fields. And uh, let's give them a paragraph text. Okay, so my form is really shaping up now, and all I have to do now is uh, change some of the options here.
So I can edit this. Uh, I want to require the field. There's some advanced settings. You can use some uh, labels, validation messages. <clears throat> Just in case they don't fill in this required field, you can put in your custom message there. That's kind of neat. CSS class name. Uh, Gravity Forms has all this CSS built into it, so you can move form boxes around, and there are great tutorials uh, on the Gravity Forms uh, website. Okay, so I don't want to mess with too much of the advanced features, and I'll just close the name. So the name is now required, and that's designated by this red star. I'll edit the phone number field. And I'm going to make this, no, I'm not going to make that phone required, but I will put no duplicates. One huge spam tactic people use is that this autofill auto all of the form fields. And a lot of times you get duplicate information. So if this is on, it should fail the field if it's a spam bot that's trying to email you. Okay, email, I do want email to be required and no duplicates. Now you can enable email confirmation but I think that is a pain in the butt for users who want to use the site so I'm just going to leave that off there. If I were to type in a description this would come out underneath the uh, form box there. Fill in this so we can contact you uh, later okay and here's my text box that's gonna need a little it's gonna need a label I don't want to call it untitled so I'll just call it your message Okay, and I'm going to put in a maximum characters because I don't want any novels. I'm going to make this required no duplicates. And then I'm just going to save the form. Now the first time I save the form, you get this nice pop-up. Um, it can preview, set email notifications, continue editing the form, return to the form list. So I'm going to continue editing. And remember up here, I was I was working on the confirmation and there a lot of times you'll see this box that says insert form field. That's kind of nice. Now that I've added form fields to my form, I can click here and I'll, I'll infer, insert the first name. So my message will say thanks first name for contacting us. We will get in touch with you shortly. Okay? So this is kind of a nice person personalization kind of thing. Okay, let me close that up. This form is just about ready to go, but I need some notifications. And that was a nice pop-up box. Let me update the form before I move on. Okay, there we go. Now I can move on to notifications. And, uh, you know, here's where I get to choose where the email is sent the from name, the from email, all this kind of stuff. Uh, and, uh, you know, the subject of this message and the body of this of the message. So basically, whenever somebody submits this form, I, I want to get all the form fields. Okay. You can also enable email notification to the user. And that's kind of a nice function. So I'm going to send the user an email, and I'm going to say this is from my name, from email, subject, again, personalization, first name,
I'm just typing here. I'll get back to you regarding your message. And then I will insert the your message. And save that. So when somebody fills out my form, let's preview it. Okay, very plain form for now. We can style it later. But when somebody fills out this form, they'll get a box that tells them, hey, your form was successfully filled. They will also get an email, now that I've enabled that, with uh, the, the body of their message that they wrote to me. And I will get all this information in an email. So that's pretty good. Another neat feature of Gravity Forms is that all of the, uh, the, uh, the forms that are filled out come here in this Entries log. Okay, so when people start to send me um, these forms, this like you know spreadsheet or uh, whatever you would call this, this list would begin to populate and uh, log every submission that's sent to me. So there's a lot of add-ons and different things that you can do with Gravity Forms. It's really flexible, really fun. Okay, let me end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this uh, look at Gravity Forms. It's a really easy, really powerful way to create your contact forms or any kind of information capture. Um, and, uh, you know, I just love it. It's awesome. It is a paid plugin, but it's worth it. So I would highly recommend it. And I use it for all of my premium clients. Okay, hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.